Hey guys, Jesse for bit to brain and today I'm going to show you how to hide and to show hidden files on your Mac. Now in particular I want to show you how to create an alias to make it a little easier for you to do that. So if you're like me and you want to show files sometimes and sometimes you don't, uh, I find myself googling this all the time because I forget the command. It's not the longest command but it's long enough where it's easy to forget and it's also case sensitive so if you fat finger it uh, you're screwed and it won't work and it's just kind of annoying. So the best way to get around this is to create an alias. I love aliases. Uh, on my other machine, I probably have like hundreds of aliases created because those seconds you save doing that, uh, instead of having to manually type out something or go fish for something and copy and paste it in there, the seconds you save turn into minutes and the minutes turn into hours. So it's just a great way to optimize your time and uh, make you a little less frustrated, hopefully, in the long run. So if you look to the right here, you'll see .dsstore.temporaryitems.test.txt. The dot in front of these files and folder here uh, just basically tell me that this is a hidden file. So I have these hidden files and folder here showing because I ran the command that made it so. So this command is, you've probably seen it before. It's long enough, easy enough to forget. Defaults, right, com.apple.finder, apple, show, all. Now I'm going to intentionally screw this up. Because I want to show you something. Now come down here, because we have to relaunch Finder. So come down to this Finder icon, hold down the Control and Option key, and click on Relaunch. Now if you don't hold down the uh, Control and Option key, you will not see that Relaunch option. So Relaunch, it didn't work. Why didn't it work? Because this is case sensitive, and I screwed this up. See how easy it is to screw this up? That's why creating aliases are great. So come over here, again, hold down the control option key, click relaunch, and now the files are no longer there. But wouldn't it be simpler if we could just type in a word or two and have this done for us? Why, yes it would. That's where aliases come in. So what we want to do is modify our bash profile on our system. If you don't have one, we'll just go ahead and create it. So type in cd to send us to our home directory. ls space dash l a. Actually, let's just type in LSA in my instance, long form. It's a lot there. So if you don't have the bash profile there, which you see right over here, you can create it. So just create touch space dot bash underscore profile. See, I hate typing. I really hate typing. I suck at it. That's why aliases are great. So I already have this on my system, so I don't need to do that. So what I'll do is just edit the file. Now you can use any text editor. I like uh, Nano for the, in this instance, but you can use Vi or anything like that. So Nano. Now I already have the commands in there. They're commented out. So I'll take this off here. Now I will put these commands in the description for this movie, and you just have to copy and paste it. Or if you're crazy and you want to actually type it in, but copy and paste is the way to go. Now what will happen is, in my prompt, if I just want, I want it so it'll show his, uh, hidden files, I just have to type in show files. Now if I want to hide them, hide files. Now isn't that simpler? That's all you have to do in this part. So just you just hit control X, and then yes, and then click your enter key. Now we have to source this out. So anytime we change a configuration like that, we're going to have to go ahead and do source. So what we want to do is just type in source tilde slash dot bash underscore profile. Now we can just type in show files and we see it. Hide files, hides them again. Much simpler and a lot less headaches. Creating aliases are a great thing. I recommend doing that for a lot of commands, even smaller commands. It just makes it much simpler. Like usually when I use the ls command, I use ls uh, dash la. So I create an alias, just ll. So every time I type in ll, it'll, it'll show it for me in the form I want. So pretty simple. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you got something out of it. Uh, I hope to have more tutorials for you soon. For Bit the Brain, this is Jesse.